Hey everyone, thanks for entering the Troll Shed. I'm Trollbender, this is Trolls Tech. Today we're gonna do a little bit something different. We're gonna find out what Nutella does when it's thermal paste. So, we have our test bench already set up here with some MX6 in there, and we have Cinebench running so that we can get our baseline temperatures here. Looks like we're running about 58 degrees Celsius on the max temperatures on core eight, around 55 on all the cores. So all that's left is to find out what Nutella does. So we're gonna shut this bad boy down, throw some Nutella on here and see what these temperatures do. All right, just wanna mention that this is no way, shape or form sponsored by Nutella whatsoever. We're just doing this and I absolutely love Nutella. And if you wanna sponsor me, send me a bunch of Nutella, Nutella. All right, let's take this bad boy apart. Ugh, get this ram out of the way. Okay, get this fan off. Roll up my sleeves here. Wouldn't be Trolls Tech without some sort of accident. Generally don't recommend doing this with power drill. All right. Now you can see we got the nice MX6 on there. Good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. Okay. I love Nutella. You can see we're gonna wiping this off here. All right, we're using a Xeon processor for this, a 2670V3. I'm gonna wipe this off of there. Get that lovely Nutella. Now, if you want me to try other thermal solutions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. All right, we're ready to put that Nutella on here. Delicious, nutritious Nutella. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Mmm, uh, yeah. All right, we're gonna use about a thermal paste amount. Butter this up, butter this up. All right, just want some good coverage there. Mm. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that with the thermal paste. It's probably still on there. Don't do this at home, kids. All right. Put this back on there. Where's my drill at? Get an even spread here. All right, we're gonna tell it up. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get this ram back in here. Put it in backwards. All right, ram's back in. Let's get the fan on there. All right, plug some power in. Okay, Nutella is now on board. What do you think is gonna happen, folks? Absolutely nothing. Let's try this again. 
There it goes. It fired up. All right. Whew. That was scary for a bit. I can hear the fan spinning up. What do we got on the screen? It's posting. Nutella post. Let's get the keyboard. <laughs> it smells like chocolate. Let's try to get in here before this heats up. This is exciting. Okay. We'll run Cinebench here. So while we're running this Cinebench test, what do you think is going to happen? You think these temps are going to go through the roof? We've got uh, 78 degrees Fahrenheit outside and probably 80 in the tech shed here. And believe it or not, Nutella is actually doing good. 60 degrees, one fan. It's looking good. There is a little bit of chocolate kind of peeking out. But so far, everything is running quite well. It's uh, a lot better than I expected Nutella to do. Um, it is creamy and we're at uh, 62 degrees on the Cinebench mark and all the cores are at 100%. So Nutella's not doing so bad. We'll see at the four minute mark if it climbs, if it just stabilizes. All right, the Nutella is actually doing much better than I expected. Uh, peak temperature, as you can see on the screen, is 63 degrees Celsius. So in a pinch, it's uh, not impossible to grab some Nutella out of the cabinet and use that for a little spread until your MX6 gets here. This is amazing. Come in here and get a closer look at this. You got the ID cooler on here. It's actually, it's warm, but it's not hot. We're rocking 64 degrees. 64 degrees Celsius, Nutella. Intel Xeon 2670 V3 on a cheap AliExpress motherboard. Nutella, baby. I love it. So if you'd like me to try some other condiments for thermal paste, leave a, a comment down below. I'm thinking mayonnaise maybe, or peanut butter or something. I don't know, who else? Uh, who? Wh what have we tried yet? Let, let's get this going here, because Nutella, Thumbs up Nutella, it's a winner. 64 degrees Celsius still. Now I'm gonna run this test again here. A few moments later. All right, it's now been 20 minutes later on the stress test with Cinebench and Nutella is holding strong. 64 degrees Celsius in an 80 degree Fahrenheit environment. This is fabulous. I didn't think Nutella would be so good at thermal compounding. Yes. It's silky, it's smooth, it's delicious, and it can save your CPU. This is Trolls Tech. Thanks for watching my Nutella video. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and check out my other videos. I love you people.